So you asked for one, and by that I assumed you meant three. So, I chose three. One that I loved, which is Leila Lalami's Hope and Other Dangerous Pursuits. No Country for Old Men by Cormac McCarthy. Love Cormac McCarthy. It's just so dark. It's really sort of uncompromising and terrifying. <laughs> and read the book before you see the film and then you won't be hiding behind the sofa like I was. Is The Book Thief. Is This Thing of Darkness by Harry Thompson. We need to talk about Kevin. If you don't know what it is, the narrator of the book is Death and it's set in Germany during the Second World War and it's told from the point of view of the Germans. So it's a really moving, very unusual book and I would highly recommend it. He was a comedy producer of Have I Got News For You and lots of other things. And he was dying of cancer and he wrote this book because he'd always been fascinated by Darwin and Fitzroy and the voyages of the Beagle. And it's the most fantastic piece of work. It's a thrilling story, fascinating character studies, and it's an education. And he died that year. It was published. It's 1599 by James Shapiro, which is a very significant year in the life of William Shakespeare. Bit of a Shakespeare nut. Really, really interesting book. It's all about the building of the globe, the Essex uprising, and all sorts of stuff. Dirty Fan Mail by Johnny Trunk. I can't go into any detail, really, about the content. You'll have to discover that for yourself. But what I will say about Johnny is he's an amazing character. Not only is he a great writer, uh, he's a record collector, he's a DJ, he's a record company boss. Check him out at Trunk Records. Probably cheating a bit here. So I'm going to take some creative license on this. Because I think this was published in 2004, but I didn't read it until 2005. Tokyo by Mo Hader. And my favourite book that I read in 2005 was The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Rausafon. I and mean, it was one of the first books that left me thinking that I would like to be a writer. 